One, two, three, four. Hey, I can't do What is going on? <laughs> this is a big step for me. People are gonna be like, whoa, the audio is good on this. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, I am here today with Mr. Harrison Webb. Hello, we're back. He's here from London. And I mean, can you just guess what we're doing today? Take a wild guess. Can you see the food already? I'm so excited to do this. Um, so today's not a vlog. We are doing a traditional cooking video. Mm -hmm. And I actually want to make you guys my favorite dish of all time. This is my go-to. If I go to an Italian restaurant, if they have it, I will order this. And so there's a, there's a little twist. Yes, this is also the, the twist. So my favorite dish is a spicy vodka pasta. I love it. But recently I saw Kendall Jenner film this video, but using tequila. And I was, my mind was blown. I didn't even think that that was a possibility. <laughs> I've never, I didn't even see the video. So I'm like, yeah, yeah was, I'm so down to try this. I'm so curious. Um, but the reason I was mind blown is because I love tequila. It's like my drink of choice when I go out. Mm -hmm. So if I can combine these two into one, I think we might be honest this something is the thing. here. Also, we got all these ingredients from Whole Foods. Yeah. Literally 20 minutes 20 ago. 20 minutes ago. <laughs> I, I like vlogged the grocery store and like this I'm glad you have. Because yeah. this is the pasta we have in the UK and we use it. Bang in. This, well, they have, not a clue. Well, they, Maple they Hill, Maple organic. Hill, I don't know. But they, they have other butters. I just, I don't know, I gravitated this to this This looks good, one. this looks good. It's good. Yeah. And we're not using no like jar garlic. He was like, we need the real fresh. stuff. Fresh, all fresh stuff. stuff. It's gonna make a difference. Same with the, I say shallots, but you call it shallots. <laughs> shallots. Do you wanna chop the garlic or sure. the shallot? Um, you do the shallots because they will make me cry. Well, you're gonna be standing next to me and you're gonna feel it as well. First off, we are going to be, I'm gonna be chopping up one small garlic clove and Harry will be chopping up half a shallot, finely chopped. I mean, we can do one just so we don't waste it. Okay. Because I feel like, are you gonna use shallot in anything else no. this week? Here's my garlic, so one garlic clove. You know how to get the skin off really easily? Do I just cut the ends? So, no. Okay. Oh, it, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay, so the best way to do this is put it there. Okay. And then just push down. Yeah, do that. Harder. Go I'm for scared. It. Yeah, do it. That's it. Okay, now you see how it's like all opened uh -huh. up? You can peel it off a lot easier. Oh, I think Rather I Rather than like you get your freaking nails yeah. in there. If you've just think... had a pedicure, that ain't gonna do bits for you, is it? No, I think I remember this from Food Network when I was younger, I would watch that channel all the time. I'm ready to get this like us crying. Well, do you know the trick to this? There's what, loads. What, what paper towel underneath Should it? we do everything? Because that... apparently if you chew gum, that gets rid of it and uh, put a candle well, on, that gets rid of it. I don't have gum, but the, the the wet paper towel actually helps me a lot. I already feel that like going into my nostrils. I'm just gonna cut the root off and get rid of it ASAP Rocky. I also just realized we have a garlic press here. Yeah, it's fine. I'll do it the fun Chopping's way. Chopping's good. Yeah, Chopping's yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God, I love the papery skin on a bloody shallot. This is also a recipe that Harry has done on his... Uh, Yes. On his Instagram. Look at the papery skin everywhere. I love that <laughs> you're gonna be finished before me. So how you been? I've been good. Uh, you know, just living life. Yeah, I've I was telling you before. I've been really into cooking recently, so I love doing this. But I don't want to be like a chef or anything. I just like doing it by myself. No, it's good. It's good to freaking make fresh food and make it. stuff yourself. That's the thing, especially in LA as well. It's so easy to eat out. Oh my gosh. So easy. Are you kidding easy. me? Especially with you know, Postmates and stuff oh my available. God. So easy to just spend thousands of dollars a month. I knew that was papery skin. I knew it. I knew there was gonna be one more bit. All right, so what are we doing here? Getting the water going at least because that's gonna take a few minutes. We're gonna boil some water. Okay, have we get got the some- pasta going. Olive oil. We do. What would you call this, the pantry? Oh, here we go. Nice. Grata. Okay, we're going into the pan. How much olive oil would you say into the pan? I'd say two, two tablespoons, just under that. We're gonna go and hit this with the um, the shallot. We're not gonna do the garlic yet. Oh, okay. Because otherwise that's gonna burn. So throw all the shallots in there. Have we got chili flakes? We do have chili flakes. So a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. Oh yeah, you might have to. 
This is gonna go well. <laughs> this is gonna go well. Nice. Say, are these gonna be really hot ones? No, no, I think normally I've done this We're before. Good. I think a, I think a teaspoon's good. Okay, teaspoon in with the oil and the shallot. All right, guys, I'm moving you a little. Oh, I'm moving you a little closer so y'all can get a HD yeah, this is HD good. look of what Harry's doing. Yep. and I'm supervising. <laughs> You're supervising, yes. <laughs> yeah, I like nice. infusing that together for a bit. So we we have it on like a medium low heat. Medium low like, heat, yeah. start to sizzle now just for a bit. Okay. Just until it like softens. But it's nice to infuse the oil, like you already see the oils kind of like taking a red, red kind tint, of- Red yeah. Yeah, exactly. Whereas like, I think like the traditional, sorry, not traditional, because it ain't traditional at all, but the way Gigi Hadid makes it, okay. she would add the, the pepper flakes after. Oh, I don't know. I was... think, or like most recipes that you see. I feel like that isn't the right way to do it because you want the chili flakes to be infused with infused. the sauce, yeah. right? Unless you don't want it that spicy, then maybe. So like when it's looking like this. I just, Yum. You see what I mean? It's taking on a color. Yeah. The shallots softened a bit. Then you could add in the garlic. Like it's okay. literally just going to be like two, two, three minutes of like that softening. And like, you know, like we're on the low heat still. But we can throw in the garlic. So we're throwing in our garlic. I feel so professional. Even this is the good. Spatula. This is, yeah, the spatula is the way, I'm telling you. Do you want to measure it out so people are. So people know? Yeah. Okay, Shall let's we? Let's see. I think it will be at about half of this, this let's tube. Let's just do one fourth of a cup and we'll see. So, a fourth of a cup. All of that's going in. Now, when you mix this in, okay. we're still kind of on a low, medium heat. Yeah, mix that all together. It's going to turn like a rusty color we want. It looks quite vibrant red. And when you mix it in with the garlic, the oil, like already you're seeing, you see that color that it's starting to take on. Get close. close off of that. So you see it's like taking on that rusty color already. Yeah, that looks, looks so, so good. good. So then we are gonna be using half a pound of rigatoni pasta. Rigatoni, yeah. Half a pound of this. I mean, you can you could use whatever your favorite pasta is. I think just rigatoni is what Yeah, a lot people of people will use, use like a fusilli pasta. Yeah, um, spicy fusilli, yeah. the John and Vinny's place. Mm -hmm. But you could use honestly whatever. So just to make it simple for everyone at home, if you were gonna make this, I'd say we've been doing this for like, what, two, three minutes? Yeah, I'd say so. If you go five minutes, you're probably gonna be good. Okay, so Harry's just gonna throw in some salt into that boiling water. Exactly. Just to give it some flavor. I just normally like eyeball it or I do to taste. So I'll, I'll do a little bit in the water and then I'll always add some after if I need yeah, to. Yeah, I think but that's probably fine. the healthier way to do it actually as well. I'm crazy with it. I like doing this. I'll literally grab a bit on my spoon, do that, and I'll just taste it. I'm like, oh yeah, it's salty, it's good. Holy shit, that's kind of scary. Okay, so we are adding, so I'm using Casamigos. It's my favorite. Um, and we're gonna go in with two tablespoons yep. of Blanco tequila. Now this is a bit more, if you follow the Gigi Hadid recipe, right? Also another thing, if your pan was really, really hot and you pulled this in, it's possible that it could catch light, right? Okay. It so, won't, Okay. because we're on a low to medium. I like, I prefer doing it oh, this way so anyway. If, okay, so when you do it, just be careful. Be very careful. Just boom, you're fine though. If you're, if you're, normally, if, if you're not good at cooking, make sure you have an adult with you. <laughs> That's fine. Oh, we're good. We're and good. then just another tablespoon. Just keep it on low heat. And a good way, I think I said this in my like oh. TikTok, when you're smelling it, if you're getting a headache and you're like, whoa, the alcohol's still there. If oh. you're sniffing it and it's absolutely fine, the alcohol was, has burned away. You're Got good. It. Wow, this smells with the tequila. Different. So different. Mm. It's weird, the vodka hits your nose more. So now, so what, we mix in the tequila for what? A minute, 30 seconds? Okay, so now I'm gonna be going in half a cup of heavy cream. Oh, we should be using a, the, the liquid measuring cup, right? Does it matter? No, 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 this is good. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is fine. We can even add a bit more, honestly, if you. Okay. Yeah, I think that's good. Okay, nice. now this is where the magic happens. So do we add any salt to that or is it just kind of bare like that? So you kind of add the pasta water, which has got the salt in it. it turns into this pretty like orangey, salmon-y color. Yeah. yeah, low heat. This is gonna thicken um, after a few minutes. The sauce is pretty much done. We're gonna add a, like, a, like a, a tablespoon of butter at the end and then add some palm as well at the end, but essentially that's done. Okay, so I'm using half a box of this. Mm -hmm. So there's a full pound, we're doing half a pound of pasta, but whatever pasta you wanna use, we're using rigatoni. It's not gonna splatter on me, is it? I, ca I can't promise you anything. But I, if you throw it in like that, maybe. Oh yeah, you're good, you're good. Nice, <laughs> you're right. 
love cooking, but I'm scared of cooking. Is that hot pan? That's it. That's yeah, hot yeah, pan. yeah, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> it's like one, you're like, ah! <laughs> Sweet, chill. Now, like ten minutes on this. I think ten minutes. This okay. is normally like ten to thirteen minutes on a sea. I think. Sit on the side. Twelve to fourteen. Twelve. Okay. Yeah, let's do like yeah, literally twelve. I'm just leaving it on low heat so it stays hot. When you have it on a medium heat and you forget about it and it burns at the bottom. It'll completely burn. Trust me. The first time I made that, I was like, great, <laughs> love it. I mean, good thing with a flame as well. You can kind of push this all to the side. And then kind of and you know what I mean? Side, it yeah. can stay warm there, but you're not actually cooking it on the direct Got it. flame. This is Harry just checking if the pasta's ready. He just he just grabbed it and threw it on the counter. Is it good or is it a little hard? I'm just trying, trying to cool it down. Oh. It's a bit al dente. Do you like it al dente? I don't mind, but this is like borderline still. Rock hard. Like literally one more minute, we should be good. Okay. Here we go. Now. Pasta is done. We're going to take this and drain it mm -hmm. right before we do we're just going to probably take like a ladle or two of this pasta water because there's salt in it loosen this sauce a bit okay and then we're going to add in that butter that we just cut up so we're adding two tablespoons of unsalted butter yeah so mix that through emulsify the sauce thicken it right i'm going to drain this because this is perfect pretty much Perfect, perfect. Harry, I've been practicing my British accent. You've been practicing your British accent? Yeah, I've been practicing so I can I can talk in a British accent next time I go to London, but it's- Go on, hit me with it. It's not sounding too good though. Oh, um, God. Hello, how are you today? I would run. <laughs> I would genuinely be like- Hello, hello. No, I'm scared. Good little tip is you just put the colander in the bowl again. Okay. And then you drip and catch off any of the pasta water as well that you could oh. probably add in as well if you if you didn't have enough so pasta now? going in i'm going to do it this way so oh. you can okay. see it go in nicely Here we go that going in nice. nice mix that through put the heat on medium it's fine you know i'm just going to add the rest of this in i'm going to zoom in literally my mouth is watering looking at that okay we're plating let's go for that maybe we can just just freaking should we just go for it what do you mean? We're just going for it. I'm not spooning it. I'm just no, loading yeah, just it yeah, just throw in. it in there. By like grabbing... Fresh basil. Fresh basil, yeah. I love how you say it. Basil. Basil? Basil? Basil. Art basil? You can do the full oh, leaves okay. or whatever. I just like doing it on top. Okay. First. Oh, so you just uh, rip them apart and just go for it. I kind of like it that way. Then the... Fresh Parmesan. Yeah. Just grating as much as you want. I love cheese, so... I overload a little bit. Like that? Yeah, that's good, perfect. I'm gonna just go so a little bit so you can actually see what it is. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I won't, I won't overload. Let's try this. Guys, we have done it, but it has tequila in it. It's spicy tequila pasta. <laughs> I, I don't know what to expect. I don't know either. Okay, ready? Okay, I'm gonna get some basil on that, some yeah, cheese same. on that. Oh, it's fire. Taste the difference? No. <laughs> I was just about to say the same thing. I thought it's the same thing, no? It tastes pretty damn similar. If you didn't tell me, I wouldn't know. I was, it's fire. It's good. So good. You know, like the levels are good. Yeah. Other recipes, they don't put as much like spice in it. They don't put as much alcohol in it. This is like perfect. Mm. Like Everything's good. Like perfect mm -hmm. spicy tequila pasta. Well, I guess it's just good to know if you don't have vodka and you have tequila, you can use tequila. It doesn't mm. matter. No one, no one's gonna be mm. like, uh, you didn't use vodka? All right, guys. Well, thank you so much mm. for watching. I'll put the full recipe down below as well, just so y'all, if you really want to follow it and this video is too all over the place, tag us in it. Mm. Let us know. Take photos with it. Yeah, not the Gigi Hadid pasta. The Harry Fran pasta. Harry Fran tequila that tastes the same, same pasta. pasta. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I love you. Thank you so much again, Harry. Thank you. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Mwah. Mwah. Mm.